What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is gonna be on the Z and we're gonna work on it some more. We're gonna change those OEM struts with some aftermarket struts, shocks, whatever they're called. So it can hold on this hatch better without assistance. So stay tuned. <laughs> Replacing these struts shocks as you can tell the first are rusty second it's oh yeah um basically a new one i got them cheap on amazon i know z1 makes a really good one but it's like over, over about 80 dollars and i just want to get this solved for now since we might have to replace the hatch uh we might just change that out later on also but for now um these are the brackets it looks identical to the ones that were right there it goes into the bottom and the top one is somewhere here it gets pushed down this way so let's try to figure it out and i'll bring you guys along so this is a 10 millimeter bolt Make sure it's secure. And there's the two bolts here and this one. It's very hard to do with one hand. They look like they're rusted, but it looks like a surface rust. My bad. Here are those two over there and this will pop out so that is horrible so basically that's threaded onto there uh, very hard to do it but try to take it out with this and it just threads out um just be careful you don't hit the body panels well that was uh fun now Let's attempt to put the other one. Don't lose your rubber boot for this little thingy my drink. It looks like it's important. Um see so the new one. Oh the new one actually brings a new one of these things and then it goes into this little thing. Hopefully it'll be easier. See. yeah it looks like you oh yeah you pop out the little lock there and it attaches it should be easier to put on okay so again be careful taking it off because then this could happen it snapped right off the good thing about it was that i was able to use my drill my impact to take it off but it snapped off if you don't have this piece and you want to reuse it be careful it is old it is rusty and uh yeah so both struts are off already uh, sheesh i'll clean that up for now a little bit and then um that strut is already on. We're gonna end up putting it on. We'll do the same with this one. I'm gonna try to hold it up for you guys. Awesome. It looks like it's under really good. Oh. Let's see why it doesn't go all the way down now. Alright, so you guys don't make the same mistakes. When you're putting this on, make sure it's facing down. That little lip is facing down. Not like how I put it. 
and it's facing up. That's why, maybe, honestly, I haven't even checked. <laughs> Let me do this side and I'll confirm with you guys. All right. So yeah, make sure when you're putting it, this little lip is facing upwards. And not downwards like I was showing you before. The little lip there, that has to face down. If not, the trunk will close all the way. That's why I wasn't able to close it. But now, <laughs> finally. Roll. Look at that. It holds itself. Finally. I changed the little light there to LED. Because why not? So yeah, guys. This was a $20 strut. Replace the OEM struts. Um, like I said, I'm learning along the way with you guys. So I just learned about the little thing. Like why doesn't it close? Why doesn't it close? Make sure you flip the little thing upside down. Other than that, the hatch opens without help. Finally. Once again, guys, thank you for all the support. Check out my IG. I'll put the link down below for any updates on the Z that I don't put here. Uh, along with the off-road build of company van and the bagged Camry. Um, if you guys want to see any specific videos, comment down below. Let us know what you want to see. Once again, thank you for all the support. Until the next one.